Hello there geographers and welcome to your introduction to AP Human Geography. In this video I'm going to be explaining what is human geography, what are you about to get yourself into, and how do we need to think throughout this class. We're going to be talking about what it means to think like a geographer instead of what we're used to thinking like a historian. So sit back, relax, as we figure out what does it mean to take AP Human Geography. So again, if you are new to the channel, my name is Mr. Sin, and welcome. This video is the start of the AP Human Geography kind of video series. I'm gonna be going into a bunch of different things throughout our school year, and it's gonna be important that you kind of follow along. All of my videos are gonna have guided notes. The guided notes you'll find in the description below. They will be with every single video, and I really encourage you to use them. They will help you understand the main concepts. And when you need to study and prepare for your test, they'll be there. So you don't have to re-watch all of my videos. The guided notes, again, will go along perfectly with all of the videos. I've created them for you, so I really hope you do take advantage of them. But let's figure out now what you're getting yourself into. What does it mean to take AP Human Geography? And what is just the study of geography? So Human Geography is a really cool course. And I guarantee you've never taken anything like it before. This course isn't going to look at just dates in time. It's not going to just look at past events. We're not going to look at isolated events. Human Geography is a branch of geography that looks at how human activity affects or is influenced by the Earth's surface. We're not looking at things through an isolated perspective. We're going to be looking at things at a holistic view. Human geographers are more interested in how does all this stuff connect? Why do people live where they live? Why do things happen the way they do? How does something that happens in the United States affect people in China? Or how does what is going on in Russia impact the rest of the world? We're looking at things through a connected lens. Throughout this class, we're going to be looking at a ton of different things. We'll have a political unit, an economic unit, an agricultural unit, a resource and land development unit. We'll be looking at urbanization and cultures. We are going to be studying all this different stuff throughout our year. Human geography is looking at how the world is connected. What happens in China affects the United States, but how? Why are people living where they want to live? Do you actually live where you want to live, or is there other influences that are impacting you and pushing you towards that? We'll be looking at gender. We'll be looking at wealth and income inequality, globalization. We'll be looking at scale and distribution. We'll be looking at so many different things, and it's going to be a blast. Again, this is a course you've never taken before, and it's one that is very unique. And by the time you're done with this, you're going to start seeing these concepts everywhere. The coolest thing about this course is you get to understand how the world works and how everything is connected and impacts each other. So I encourage you to keep an open mind as you go through your human geography or AP human geography course and really try to understand these concepts because they're not abstract. You can see them in the real world. It's based off current day and also the past. Now, the next thing we need to address is how we have to think in this course. For human geographers, we're trying to always figure out where and why. These are the main questions we're going to be asking. Where are people located? Why are they located there? Where are businesses located? Why are they located there? Where are certain governments prevalent? Where are certain religions spreading and where are they not? And why? Where and why questions are crucial for geographers. These are the main questions we're going to be asking. The next thing that we have to understand is geographers are constantly trying to understand why certain human activities or certain events happen in some places but not other places. Why do we have capitalism in the United States, but in China they have communism? Why are certain cultures formed in this area, but over here, it's a completely different culture? How come in some countries in Europe, you can go 10 miles and all of a sudden people are speaking a completely different language? These are the questions that we have to understand. The second part of human geographers, that thinking methodology, is why do some things exist in certain places and not others? Why are some ex human activities prevalent in some areas but not others? The next one then is how we actually organize information. Geographers are going to look at things spatially. We're going to organize information spatially. We're not going to go chronological that historians traditionally do. And the last one that we're going to be looking at, and this is that thinking that it'll take time to understand, but how do events in one place impact another place? 
How is the world connected? How are societies connected? And this one can be really abstract and hard for us to see right away because the world is a pretty big place. Even in your own country and state and wherever you're located, it's hard to understand how things are impacting you from miles away. But this is how geographers think, and it's really important that we start to practice this thinking ideology. So that way when we get into all of our units, you can understand the concepts better. Now, the way a historian used to think, and as kind of a refresher so you can see how we're used to thinking, is historians, they don't necessarily ask where and why, they're constantly asking when and why. When did this event happen? Why did that happen? They're always looking back in time. Geographers, remember, we're not necessarily doing that. We're asking where and why. So it's important to remember, historians, we're used to thinking of this when and why. We're no longer thinking that way. And historians oftentimes look at dates. They're going back and they're trying to explain why certain things happened in a certain order. Human geographers aren't interested in that. Remember our last thinking ideology, that fourth point, we're trying to see how things are impacting each other. We're not looking at why they happened in a certain order. And for how historians organize information, they organize it chronologically. We've already kind of been talking about this. Geographers, we're going to be looking spatially. Historians, remember, that's how we're used to doing things, is chronologically. Probably a lot of your history classes were actually organized that way. You would go through the years. We're not going to be doing that. We'll be bouncing throughout time. We're looking at the concepts. And history, in a historian thinking style, is always trying to understand how the events in the past have created the future or how they've created other events in the past. We're not looking at that either. We're looking at it as geographers again, and I know I'm being super repetitive, but it's very important to understand the difference between these two thinking styles. Geographers are looking at how these events connect. I'm hoping now that you can kind of understand the difference between a historian and their thinking and a geographer and their thinking. Hopefully now too you understand kind of what AP human geography is and what just the concept of human geography is. Now, we're going to be going into all this stuff a lot more in class, and we'll be talking about things in more detail. But this is just a quick introduction of the course, of what we're going to be doing, and all the fun that you're going to be having. Hopefully now you have a really good understanding of some of the things we're going to talk about in AP Human Geography. And you also have a good understanding of what's the difference between thinking like a historian and thinking like a geographer. We're going to be using our geographer skills throughout this entire course. And if you're struggling with understanding this or being able to see this clearly, don't worry. Every single unit, we're going to be breaking this down and practicing these concepts. So when we get to the AP test, you'll be ready to rock it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave so that way you get notified whenever I post new videos. I'm going to have videos for every single AP Human Geography unit and all the different concepts we cover. So make sure to subscribe so you can follow along. I'm Mr. Sin. Thank you for watching this video. And until next time, I'll see you online.